Hey guys, here's something I want to show everybody. Um, we're tuning this uh, 2020 GM L5P and we put a program DCM in it. And sometimes when you connect to it with the scanner, even though we program them on the bench, you will see that if you go to the scanner with the HP tuner tool connected, you'll see that the VIN shows up as YYY all the way across. This is just generic programming. Uh, HP Tuners is embedded into this, uh, uh, into the ECM. So what we're going to do is program the VIN really quick into this ECM. So when we do the immobilizer relearn with the GM tool, like we do all the time, that the GM tool understands what it's talking to. It, it, it understands that uh, the VIN is in the ECM and it can connect to it and allocate uh, the proper data so it can do what's called an immobilizer relearn. So this is just the process really quick to change the VIN. Step number one, connect the tool. So it's connected. Um, you can see the VIN shows uh, Ys all the way across. You first go to the DTC reset and come down here and hit clear DTCs. So they're clear. All the DTCs are gone. Even if there's no check engine light, no DTC illuminated, you'll see, still need to hit clear and exit that. Then come up here and hit the Vehicle Controls and Special Functions. And then go to System. And then hit Change VIN. It says your current VIN is YYY all the way across. Please enter your new VIN. So I'm going to paste this customer's VIN in here. And then hit OK. And then it'll say VIN change completed successfully. Please cycle the ignition off and back to the run position. You have to disconnect and reconnect VCM scanner to see the change so VCM scanner can repopulate the data basically. So I'll hit OK, turn it off, close this guy, exit from that. So this is a 2020 truck. We uh, recommend pushing and holding the button more than eight seconds. So you get the up level dash to turn back on and then reconnect the scanner. And you will see that this VIN, as soon as it's done populating, is now the actual right VIN for the vehicle. Here is a bonus item that we just helped HP tuners embed into the software. Uh, this truck has an up-level dash cluster. You will see that the check engine air filter system is, is illuminated. So you can't clear this by using the buttons on the steering wheel like you could the down-level dash. So this is super annoying. Um, the, this happens because the particulate filter, basically the air filter, um, the some of the controls were in the factory ECM that we replaced. And historically, we've used the GM GDS software, uh, which using the GM MDI tool to reset that functionality. It requires a dealer reset or reset with uh, with us. So basically, now we have uh, what's called bi-directional controls in the software that we can reset this guy. So you connect to the v controls and special functions. And right here, next to where it has been crank relearn, which you have to do after you do an ECM replacement, you hit air filter reset and it will, air filter reset is done. The dash is now clear and you can cycle the key on and off and you will see that even if I fire it back up, that that check air filter message is gone on the dash. So super cool, saves one step. Again, if you're doing the immobilizer relearn and you don't have your HP tuner dongle, Obviously, you can just use the GM MDI tool or a mongoose cable. We still recommend using GM MDI. Uh, and then you can just go on the up level uh, dash functions and clear that. But it is a little easier to do it inside the HP tuner software. Hope this helps. Thanks.